Alrighty, so here's what's happening today or tonight. Tonight, tonight. Bow, bow. So I gotta pull my tent trailer with this. I mean, I don't have to, but why not? And uh, I don't know, it's kind of low. So anyway, this was, uh, I picked this turd up for cheap and it wasn't running very well. So I got it running and fixed what needed to be fixed. It was a turbo actuator failed on it, so it didn't run very good. Or basically the turbo did not work. Anyway, so um, I fixed that. Long story short, it was a really good deal. Um, I've had it for about two years now, and what I've learned, uh, whoever had it before me, or even before the guy who I bought it from, they did a redneck lowering kit on it, which is fine, because whatever, they just cut the springs, and then uh, it's been okay. But I'm trying to tow something now, and this thing is like, dude, it is, it's low. So I'm trying to tow a 2,000 pound tent trailer, which maybe guys shouldn't do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not going far. I'm only going like, I don't know, 30 miles, 20 maybe. Anyway, so we're going to put some factory springs in here. Now, the problem with that also is that uh, I'm going to have some major rake going on on the front end, <laughs> which, I don't know, might be okay. I don't know, but it might look stupid. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me just take this out of the... I got a new tripod, guys. And I got it at the thrift store for like eight bucks. It's pretty minty. Anyway, let's look at this shit here. Uh, so yeah, there's the low, there's the front end there. So if I put a big old trailer on here, well, it's not big, but she's gonna sag that tent trailer. <clears throat> so I'm like, ah, I should probably put the factory springs back in it. I couldn't even buy them off Rock Auto. They didn't even have them. So luckily I found a wagon and a pick and pull and uh, pulled them out of there when I got the Nissan. If you watch the video on the Nissan when I got the springs for that, I actually went and grabbed, uh, uh, found springs for a wagon, which is like cool. Cause it was like right across from it. It's kind of, kind of crazy. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to try and do that. And uh, yeah, watch me screw that up. <clears throat> oh, chica, flywheel in the ass. Don't do that. I should probably also use jack stand. Oh, I'm missing one. Oh, that's right. This one's only good. This one's fine with only four studs. It's, it's okay. I don't know where the other one went. See, this one doesn't have very much wear on it. That other tire's got way more camberage wear. All right. So, this might be easier than it is. I don't even think I need my spring compressors for this job. Maybe. So I'll get you in here. Oh, that's what we got going on. So there's an airbag in there. And then this is a cut cut spring. So he'll billy it, obviously. Which is fine, but she's kind of a little crazy in there. She's not in there that well. <coughs> well, let's see what happens. So there's a bolt there that I gotta undo. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go from there. Ba ba basically. Oh yeah, I gotta deep creep it first. Sorry. Uh, none, none. I think that's a 19 mil. ish -ous. German engineering, yeah. Das Auto. Das Auto. I wonder if I should let the air out of that airbag. Okay, let's see if this turns it. Yep. It's probably. I don't know if that's gonna. Well, 
is that on there? I wonder. That goes through there. Should I just cut this? Where's my knife? Ah, oh, shit, I don't have my knife. Of course I don't have my knife. You don't have your knife when you need it. I'm just gonna cut that. I do have other airbags that for the other ones, but I think oh, I might just run, what's it called? Spring boosters. Eventually, I'd like to put air, air ride on this thing. Definitely. A buddy of mine's got a Honda wagon, an older 90s Honda Accord wagon, and he's got that sucker slammed on air. And uh, I'd like to do that to this one day. But I also want to hillbilly it and jack it up too. So I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Should I go up or down with this thing? You know, too many options. Yeah. She snippered. Okay. Okay. Well, that's out. We'll see how the new one goes in. Actually, let's compare them. Oh! <sighs> oh, yeah. Are these the same? Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, so actually, there's not much taken off. Oh, yeah, they're top and bottom, though. Mind you, that's... Yeah, that's not bad. So I'm actually not going to be too, too much higher. He only had one coil out. Okay, so this won't be too bad. Hmm. Well, we'll see. All right, I'll get that other one in and see what we can uh, do. This won't take long. Well, especially for you, because you watch and then I fast forward and you're like, oh, it's done. Oh, yeah, it's done. There we go. All done. <clears throat> Before we get to that, so I do have some other, I was going to put some other airbags in here and I don't think they're going to fit. Um, what the heck did I do with them? These buggies. I bought these on Kijiji's, and but I think they're for a Ram Thorn. Uh, oh, Durango Ram, Durango Dodger. So, but I thought, ah, maybe I can make these work. But I think they're too big. Oh, those aren't gonna fit in there. Nope. Shit. But yeah. Was my uh, issue. So yeah, we're just gonna put them in and then put spring boosters on. I think. All right, let's get this sucker installed. Oh, so maybe that's why there was some noise in the ass end. <laughs> this thing's busted. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense now. Maybe they just broke and it lowered itself. I don't know. No. Maybe. So, that's the bottom. Okay. So, that little guy, that obviously goes in there. Like so, maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, that goes in the top. And that tit goes down. Okay. Oh, like so. Cool. Okay, well, let's see if we can fit that in there, maybe. Shall we? Uh -huh. How are you now? Oh! Yes, bye. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of this. So this actually might might be not bad once it gets in there. Oh, oh this is just too easy. Oh. And, oh, don't say that yet. It's not in. Who knows what other issues the tissue will bring. You never have enough tissues and then your issues. There, that tits in there. Oh dear. Okay, come on now. Oh yeah. There. Okay. And then a guy might put a booster in there. And then now, I think what he's got to do is get a jack under here. And then get that back up. To bolt that in. Right there. Right there. Are we there? We should be there. We're there. Okay. So I'll jack that up. My neighbor. His name was Jack. And sometimes we'd be working on the cars and... He'd say something about the jack, and then it's like, ah, I didn't mean you meant the jack, right? He didn't really care, because it probably happens a lot. <clears throat> oh, look, here's a jack right here, right behind me. Wow. Or you put a bunch of wood under there, and then lower it down. But I'll just jack it. Yeah. And, ooh, take off your pants and jack it. Ouch. I don't know what that was. Oh, cool. A chunk of glass on the floor that just went into my finger. Cool. Should have swept that better yesterday, but I didn't. 
Does anybody know what the 2009 Volkswagen Jetta TDI's towing capacity is? I guess we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I mean, like I said, it's only... Ah. I think it's only a couple thousand pounds. I think... Okay, are we on it? Oh. No. Oh. Oh, is that it? Right on. Maybe. This finger is just leaking everywhere. Pete's sake. Petersburg. New Hampshire. Is he even from New Hampshire? I don't even know. Oh. Oh, this has got to go. Oh, I'm moving it. <clears throat> what in the world? Maybe. Oh, maybe this has got to go. How's it looking? Oh, moving the whole thing. I don't think that's where. Oh, yeah, it's coming up there now. Finally. Oh, hiya. Come on now. Oh, condom nooch. It's coming. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, we're almost there. Another little bobbler. Oh, we're too, too good. We're too much now. Dika. Little, little, little. Okay, there. Try that, try that. Oh, I think I can get it in. Just the barley. Oh, barley soup. Oh, don't just have that for supper. You'll be wobbly everywhere. I had that the other night. My wife wasn't too happy about it. <clears throat> but she don't know that I can have a couple beers in the garage. Working on the car. Making videos. Ah! That's what's going on, right? Look at that! Just leaking! That's le stop leaking already! It's kind of annoying. I wonder if I should put the bolt in the other way. <clears throat> I wonder. Oh. <clears throat> oh, come on now, Freddy! Like, go in your home! Thank you. Good. See, you, sometimes you just gotta tell it. Now, should I put. Should I put. Should a guy put. See how low it goes there? I wonder if guys should just put in... <sighs> keep forgetting what them are called again. Spring boosters. Spring boosters! Should a guy just put spring boosters in now? Or does he hook up the trailer and see the sag? Probably should put in spring boosters right away. You know what's gonna happen? I won't put them in, hook up the trailer, and it'll sag more than I thought it was gonna. And I'll be gone oh, great. Now I gotta crawl under there and do it again. <sighs> but if I don't, and then I... Now if I do, and then I'll be like, oh, that's too high then. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, I gotta fix my band-aid again. Damn it. But should stop leaking soon. Did I get the nut on there? Okay. How tight does this go? I think two, two or three. Two or three other duggas. I don't even remember. Oh, man. Okay, we'll lower this down slowly. I didn't even need a spring spring compressor. Probably for struts, more or less. You need spring string. Probably for straw. Oh, that was moving weird. Good thing I'm not under there. Spring compressor. See, I think I will put a couple spring boosters in there. Oh. <clears throat> I think you just turn on these. I guess you gotta have a wrench in there. Unless you can. Bing bong. Right? Put these in now? Because then I'm gonna be like, uh, why didn't I put those in? Oh. <clears throat> now, are you supposed to move them? I should probably look at the manual. This works as 
a hammer too, by the way. Let's try that. That might stick up. <laughs> she might have a little bit of rake. Well, I'll take them out after if I... Okay, this side's pretty much done. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. There's no sense to film that. Unless you want me to? No? Okay. That's what I thought. Alright, I'll let you know when it's done. Alright, got this side all buttoned up. And she's done, Ski. So just got to throw the tire on and then we'll... Down we go. <clears throat> So I got a, I got some wear here. Oh, where is it? Yeah. So I don't know if this was from last year, if it was the front. I don't remember where this would come off because they just throw them in storage. But yeah, this is obviously camber related. Camber, gasser, one of the two. Anyway, yeah, she's she got some cards, cards, drawn through there. So I'm gonna have to put some. JB Weld on there or something. But the reason why I have it on the passenger side is so that when it does blow out, when I'm changing the tire on the side of the road or the highway, you know, it's not, I won't get smoked too bad if somebody does, at least they'll be able to be in the ditch kind of thing. So yeah, that's, if you ever have that problem, always put it on the passenger side and you don't have to worry too, too much or three. But now I gotta start carrying some tools and impacts and stuff because. When she blows, it's not gonna be fun. I don't know. I don't know where it, that, I don't know if that was in the front. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, and then if you wanna also put some Uncle C's on there. Or wait, no, not Uncle C's. Anti C's on there. And that way, if you're aluminum to metal, or metal, aluminum to steel, or steel to metal, or aluminum, then you're not fucking around with the misdemeanors of. Uh, trying to get her back on. <clears throat> Off. She won't be seized, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. But around here, you gotta change the wheels. Well, I have a winter set and a summer set. So, every once a year, you're swapping tires. So as long as you don't hug dug it too much, you don't really have to worry about the anti seize. But I put it on anyway, because sometimes it does happen. I guess the guy should probably hand thread these in first, just so he doesn't look too stupid. <clears throat> That's what I always do, hand thread them in every time. That was the only time I ever never did it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and then we're just doing the two other dugs on here. Yep, two. We're good. That's it. See? Simple, I think. Oh. Okay, let's see the rake. You ready for the rake? I don't know if I'm ready for the rake. <laughs> that's quite the camera angle. <sighs> yeah, that's a special one. It's, it's, uh... Whoop. Okay, everything clears us. Bing bong. Oh, that's high. <laughs> That'll come down a bit, maybe. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's a gap there. Well, it's just for fun. Is that really how high it is? No. Just get them springs settled a bit. Oh. Oh yeah. 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 That's funny looking. Damn it. Uh, without the, so I'm going to leave the spring boosters in there for now, because I'm going to be towing, and then I can take them out, and then maybe it won't look too, too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess, is it? <sighs> well, once I get the trailer loaded tomorrow... I'll, uh, we'll see. 
and it might take some time to it might sag a bit just from driving and get settling i know she's she's up there it's definitely definitely a little higher all right well i'm gonna clean up and uh i'll uh see you tomorrow when i load this load the trailer on and then we'll see what it looks like yep 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 she's a little low not bad not bad not bad